Right now, those fires are being called suspicious. Good evening. There's a subject of an intense investigation. Fire officials in Schenectady are trying to track down the cause and any connection among them. The latest flames broke out overnight on Davis Terrace in Mont Pleasant. That's just blocks from two other sus suspicious fires, uh, one on 3rd and one on 6th there. Our Tori Wells live at the scene of the latest fire. And Tori, the city already has torn that building down. Yeah, this is all that's left. Just some rubble covered up by that plastic sheet there. The demolition crews rolled in right around noon, tearing what was a home to the ground. But this is not the end. The Schenectady Fire Chief tells me that his department, police, ATF, and state fire investigators are trying to figure out what happened here and if this is related to those other two fires. Three vacant homes torn down in just one week after fires ripped through all three. The fire department says no power was running to any of the homes, and it's calling all three suspicious. Tonight, officials are not saying if the fires are connected, but they're looking into that possibility. This was the latest fire early this morning. A viewer gave us this video. Those were the images Bonnie Cordy remembered as she watched this home come down today. When I opened my eyes, my whole bedroom was just lit right up. So I started screaming. My husband jumped up. I looked out the window, and I could see all the flames that were way above the house. Aaron Blackman lives in this home, damaged by the heat. He told me he saw the other fires on the news last week and is worried now that one happened right next door. If someone's doing this, I hope they figure out who's doing it. I hope they catch it because this is a safety hazard for everybody. The fire chief told me they have not ruled these fires arson. There's certain criteria that needs to be met for that, and the investigation is still ongoing. Maybe if they patrolled around here a little more would help us out. And I asked the police and fire departments about that, if there would be more patrols in this area. Both departments told me they don't want to talk about tactics, but they did tell me an aggressive investigation is underway right now. Now, earlier this week, city and state officials were here in Schenectady to talk about efforts to get rid of abandoned buildings. We will have more on that tonight at 6. We are live in Schenectady. Tori Wells, CBS 6 News.